All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our Wednesday virtual event. Hopefully, everybody's having a good week so far. Uh, I don't know if everybody's kids were in school today or not in school today, but uh, it was an interesting day in the city with uh, half the kids being home and half the kids being in school. So uh, made a very interesting day. But uh, weather seems to be holding up outside. So everybody's got their foster pups ready to rock and roll tonight. I can see a lot of them are playful right now and <laughs> having the little Zoom, Zoomies going on right now after dinner, it looks like. <laughs> so hopefully we're going to have a pretty good show tonight, but uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with our first pupperoo, who is Truffles. Give me one second to spotlight Truffles. I don't think I renamed Truffles. Hold on. Where did I go? All right, Allie, you're up to talk about truffles. All right, I apologize. We are currently at a horse farm. Can everyone hear me? Yep, we can hear you, no problem. Okay, just, just wanted to make sure it's a little spotty out here. So, he is super on a leash. She is great with kids. I have a nine-year-old daughter. I also a foster for cats, so she is great with cats and other dogs. We had a dog run up on us by accident the other day and she just was so happy she wanted to play and have fun um she is great in a home however we do see she did come from our farm in south carolina um we do recommend that she be home who can kind of give her the time that she may need to unwind a little bit longer since you know the travel here throughout just a little bit, but she's doing really, really well. Um, the crate, we have a little bit of a sensitive issue too, but nothing that. Uh oh, I think her, I think her uh, service went out there. Let me see, hold on. Let Sorry, me... cut out a little bit. There you are, you're back, okay. <laughs> so as you can see, obviously she has no care in the world that we're on a farm. Um, she is great around any kind of animal, chicken, horse, dog, cat. Uh, she does not care at all. She is super just well-mannered, well-behaved. Um, oh, baby. Truffles, Truffles, Luke, say hi. She is literally just your best friend. She wants to snuggle with you on the couch, in a bed, um, anything go lucky literally the best dog possible like i said she just needs a little bit of more training with the crate but other than that she is an all-around perfect dog that's awesome cutie what are you doing there you having fun all the smells on the farm I bet, I bet those smells on the farm keep you entertained and occupied for hours <laughs> Right. <laughs> Sorry, you guys are cutting out. I apologize. No, you're okay. Little curly tail she's got. <laughs> yeah, she honestly, it's so funny. I think she's a little bit husky, a little bit shepherd, a little bit hound. She's honestly the perfect mix. Right? And she's, yeah. she's little. She oh. is. She's only 40 pounds, I believe, and only 10 months old, so she's not going to get there. That's awesome. Hey. You're, a little, you're a little cute little pocketbook first person. <laughs> At 40 pounds. You carry, I'll put you in my Girl. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is Truffles. Any questions, you can use the chat feature on Zoom and write down those questions. We've got answers out there for you. If not, put in those applications and meet Truffles in person. Look at that beautiful face. Look at that girl. So cute. You did such a great job, Truffles. Yes, you did. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to jump over to our next presenter. Thank you, Allie, and thank you, Truffles. We're going to go to Archie. Say bye, bye, bye. Bye, Truffles. Oh, man, my list is, list is crazy today. Oh, here we go. Archman, you're up, buddy. Okay, this is Archie. Archie is waiting very patiently because he has brought me his ball. And we're outside. So Archie wants to show you how great he is at playing ball. Look, Archie, come here. Look, 
Ready? Go get it, buddy. So Archie has learned our property boundary. If you could see, we have uh, some flags up and uh, we don't have a fence. So he's on a 75 foot or a hundred foot lead. Um, there's some flags up around the property that shows him the property line and he has learned it, but he always stays on a lead just for safety. Um, Archie is very well behaved in the house. He knows lots of commands. Um, he's a lot of fun. He's about a year and a half old. He's 44 pounds. Uh, Archie, sit. No, sit, sit. Come on. Well, he's down waiting, but he'll stay. He'll wait. Um, usually he sits. He does give paw. Um, he's just an absolute pleasure. He's a lot of fun. Ready? Go get it. Um, he loves to play. He loves agility. He loves training sessions. He's a very active guy. Um, as soon as he's done running it out, he'll bring that ball back to me and he'll wait for me to throw it again. There you go. He brings it back. He puts it down and he's going to wait for me. So uh, Archie is just super cool. He's a lot of fun. He likes to play ball. He's definitely the guy. Um, he also, from what I've heard, he enjoys going for a swim in the water at the beach. He's a beach lover. He uh, He's awesome in the car. Uh, great and well-behaved in the car. Um, he's awesome in the house. I don't have any problems with him in my home. He's house trained. He's crate trained. When I go out, he really doesn't necessarily need to be in a crate. He's very well-behaved. Um, but he... Uh, you know, he will go in a crate if you need him to. Um, yeah, he's just a all-around great dog. He gets along with other dogs really well. And um, he's lived with a cat in his past, so I'm guessing he's uh, cat-friendly. And, um, yeah, so he's dog-friendly, cat-friendly. He has absolutely no reaction to any of the critters or the different things that run around and we live, uh, you know, with some woods and we live by a farm and there's definitely critters and things that run around and he's unaffected by all of them. Um, we have chickens across the street. He looked at them one day, but that's as far as that went. Um, he just heard a noise. It's caused him some attention, but the sirens, but again, he's virtually unaffected by it. And, uh, He's just a really good dog and uh, fun-loving. If somebody is active and fun-loving and looking for a smart dog, he's the guy. And he's gorgeous. Let's look at this face. Look at me. Look at him and his great brindle coloring. Um, and what mix is he? My best guess is that Archie is a lab pit mix. And uh, so he's, uh, he's all around just an awesome guy. Right, buddy? Right, my man? Yes, yeah, so he'll give you one more run. Super, Ready? super smart dude, too. Go <laughs> for it. Can I ask a question? Sure. How's Archie with children? I'm not all that sure how Archie is with children. He can tend to play a bit rough. Okay, thank you. Okay. Look at you, cutie, waiting to go for the ball again. Yep, he absolutely there is. There he goes. Yeah, I love it. So good. Showing you in your element there, Arch. With those big old smile on your face. <laughs> absolutely. He's just a happy-go-lucky, fun-loving guy who just wants to play. He's always in such a good mood, but that's a little short tummy tail. <laughs> always. <laughs> always. Always, right? Sit. Show me sit. Oh, he's very interested in laying down today. The grass, man. The grass feels good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Come here. Can you give me four? Can you give four? No, not now. He's like, no, I'm playing ball. <laughs> he's like, no, you put on my rainbow leash. As soon as my rainbow leash goes on, I know it's time to play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, Archman, you did such a great job, buddy, showing us how you bring the ball back and doing your tricks. Have a great old time. Ears wagging, tail going. Love it. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is Archie.
And I'm glad we're using that chat feature tonight. That's awesome. So let's keep on doing it. If you have any other questions about Archie, throw them in the chat. We're going to jump over to our next presenter, who's got two pupperoos, Dee Dee and Steve. Give me one second to switch the spotlight. Bye, Archie. Not now he's sitting. <laughs> All right. Uh, Who is this little puffball? This roly poly little guy is Steve or Stevie Boy. And <laughs> like Archie, he is not very patient. He is a puppy and he wanted to go now, now, now. Sorry about that. He is about two months old. You're going to see several of his siblings later. There are nine puppies in this S litter. They're all about two months old. Some of them are fluffy like this guy, and some look more like mom, who's a lab mix. Um, he's obviously a boy, about eight, nine months, uh, eight, nine pounds. And as I said, two months, so he is gonna grow. Uh, he's a feisty little guy, so we'll let him run around and see if Joe can follow him with the camera. Good luck with that. Uh, needless to say, he's a puppy, so he's a lot of work. He's not yet house trained. He um, loves other dogs. He likes people. He is still working on how to walk on leash. He's a little bit confused by that, and he's just adorable. So that is Stevie Boy, or Steve. And this gorgeous girl, Steve, you've had your turn. Go to daddy. This gorgeous girl is Dee Dee. Dee Dee is about five months old. She is about 28, 29 pounds. She walks great on the leash. She sleeps quietly in her crate at night. She is a mush, great also with other dogs. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure what else. She's beautiful. She's a tricolor. She has a tip of white on her tail, like beagles do. So we think she's some sort of hound mix. Um, who knows? And yeah, adorable. And they just happen to be in the same foster home. They're not bonded or anything. They just met Saturday when they arrived at our house. Yeah, no, look at the camera. Oh, Dee Dee knows sit, but she doesn't do it uh, in front of the camera. But when there's no cameras, she'll sit beautifully. Helps she with cats and with kids. Um, I don't <laughs> know about cats. We can try to cat test her. Kids, uh, well, she seems fine, but our grandson is Cal in California, so she hasn't really met any young kids at our house. But she's a typical young dog. She's playful, wants to give kisses. Yes, I love you too. And lick my face. Sure. Obviously a very ferocious guard dog. She will bark at the landscapers of the neighbor to warn us that danger is coming. Um, and then go and wag her tail at them. Can you show them your pretty face? Not you, roly poly. Okay, fine. Two for one, Nick. That's what you get. Sorry. Do you think Steve would be snug? Cut off. Snuggly. Uh, Steve is obviously very snuggly. He loves to actually his favorite spot to sleep is when I'm sitting at the desk and he'll put his head on my foot, on my slipper, and go to sleep that way. Very snuggly. But he's like a puppy. All puppies have two speeds, kind of like toddlers. They run around like there's no tomorrow and then crash and sleep. <laughs> Steve is like, I'm not playing. <laughs> he's a puppy. He's a, just a typical puppy. Needs training, will be good with anyone you train him to be good with. Oh, I love it. Yeah, they said good with kids, 13 years. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Puppy. He'll be good with whatever you train him to be. Most definitely. And you too, cutie. Look at you. Oh. Later on, we'll see some of his siblings that are living in home with kids and seem fine with kids. So I think it's safe to say that, yeah, he'd be fine with kids. 
You're doing great. All right. Well, that is Dee Dee and Steve. Hello, Steve. Look at you. Morning, Steve. And Dee Dee's over there looking for her water. And I think we'll go outside now to let them do their business. Oh, yeah. Little puppies. Gotta go potties all the time. <laughs> little puppies, little ladders. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that is Dee Dee and Steve. Any more questions? Definitely throw them in the chat. And we'll keep on answering them. We're going to jump to our next presenter, who is Sherry and Star. Give me one second to switch the spotlight. All right, little one. You eat nice. Which one are you? Yeah, uh, I'm here by myself with the two puppies. And uh, so I'm trying to keep them in one place with a giant bowl full of ice. <laughs> so this is this is Star. She is one of the tiniest puppies. Uh, she is um, she's in the same. She's from the same litter that Steve is from. Um, Star came up. She was about six and a half pounds. Um, she is much smaller than her sister Sherry. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, so Star is tiny. She's feisty. She's uh, she is uh, maybe it's because she's so little, she's determined to make sure that she does everything that her sisters do. Um, she's in the same house with Sherry and Sarah and um, she keeps up and she is a fantastic wrestler. She loves other dogs. Um, like Nick said and Esty said, we, uh, she's one of the puppies that is fostered in a home with lots of kids. I have four kids. Um, the youngest is seven, the oldest is 17, and um, she's great with all of them. And um, actually, both of the, all of the puppies are really great with all of the kids, um, as I'm sure anybody from this litter would be. Um, and uh, so Sherry is, is tiny, she's spicy, she's so playful, she has these like fluffy ears and this, uh, I don't know, she's just really, really sweet. Um, let me go find, <laughs> she, she's uh, tiny enough to fit through the gate. So just give me one second. Um, this is, okay. This is Sherry. Sherry's a little bit bigger. She's, she's the chunkiest sister that we have. She is just really, really sweet. She is uh, very much like a, a lab. She's like, um, has a lab personality. She just likes to play and romp and follow us wherever we go when we call the puppies um, to come in from outside. She's the first one to come running at the door. Um, she just loves to be with us. She loves to play with the with other dogs, um, especially with other puppies. Um, these puppies are not housebroken. They're very, very young. Um, it looks like we might have an accident right now. They are pretty good. Let me try to bring them outside. Um, they are well, yeah, muted yourself too, Lindsay. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I it's very I difficult to call you by yourself. <laughs> 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 they said, uh, I said, they're usually pretty good about going to the bathroom as soon as I bring them outside, but it is zoomy time tonight. So uh, they may or may not go, but um, they're just, they're really, really sweet. And they're so playful and adorable. They're puppies. <laughs> That's what they do. Oh, good girl. Good, job. good girl, Star. Yay, go pop. Gary, what did you find? <laughs> no wood, no malt. <laughs> okay, and that's and that's Star and Sherry. Hey, get off the pool cover. <laughs> now it's trampoline time. Now it's trampoline time. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. Well, guys, that is Star and Sherry. If you're looking for just gullible little puppies, there you go. You got two to choose from right there and a couple others on the, the, the Zoom tonight to watch. But they're puppies, just like newborn kids. They're going to get into everything. You have to pie train them. You got to spend that extra time, teach them, but they're fun to watch. <laughs> Look at them, zooming around. <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, that is Star and Sherry, guys. So definitely put in those applications. Puppies do not last long. So if you're going for a puppy, definitely put in that application tonight and go for it this weekend, if not sooner.
All right, we're gonna jump to our next presenter who's got Seth and Scott. Give me one second to switch to spotlight. Oops, hit the wrong button. There we go. All right, puppy palooza time. More puppies. Seth and oh, look at these two. These two are like opposites. Just make sure you unmute yourself so we can hear all about these two little ones. <laughs> That's a cool toy. I don't know. I don't know what kind of toy that is, but that's interesting. A little raccoon there. <laughs> Am I good? Can you un can you hear me? I can hear you now, but we lost. Okay, okay. Oh, my perfect. phone You're is good. not behaving. <laughs> oh yeah, this is. Uh, they got a little food in here because they're being absolute nuts today. That's an interesting toy, um, though. I love that thing. What is that? <laughs> yeah, it's like a raccoon. I got to know, but yeah, it's it's really cute. It works well. Um, so let me see. This is, uh, this is Seth. Yeah. This little fuzzy guy here is Seth and this is Scott. Um, yeah, they look completely different. Same mom though. <laughs> and, and they actually do have different personalities too. This guy now you can't tell right now is usually pretty chill. Um, and, and this one's a little bit of a nut, but they're both great. They're, they're learning and, uh, they're sleeping without making any messes in the crate um we probably go out maybe one time during the night so they can get through it but you know it's getting longer and longer um they get along great with other dogs i've had um uh my two dogs here and my niece's dog they play um i don't have cats or, or any children so i don't know about that but they're so young i don't think it would be a problem um they're just super playful um, but they're pretty well behaved considering <laughs> I can't complain at all, except that you're hurting me with those teeth. <laughs> what do you think, guys? <laughs> Puppy teeth are sharp. <laughs> oh, and the nails too. Oh my <laughs> goodness. But as you can see, this is uh this is what we do for you know 20 hours a day or maybe a little bit less if we're sleeping. But they're very, very playful. Pretty, pretty <laughs> Ow. pretty active you just got me on that one <laughs> <laughs> we can just sit here and watch them play all night <laughs> yeah. oh my god it's like Seth no, you never do this he's crazy right now why are you being so crazy no but they're great they're great they're really 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 sweet um, I don't know what's gotten into them right now that they're so excited because usually you know me my dogs are usually sleeping when I do this um, but yeah they're really sweet Right? I love it. Yeah, right. we call we call him Chewy as his nickname because he looks like Chewbacca. <laughs> you know what? I was actually thinking he kind of looks like the dog from uh, Lady and the Tramp. He's got like, the that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the right same now, coloring too. <laughs> Mr. Choppers, but this guy he's he's a sweetheart. This little Scott here is, uh, but he's he's tough. This guy holds his own against big dogs. He's like, <laughs> who are you barking at? You barking at me? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, you gotta watch the movie Pets. That movie Pets is <laughs> it's like watching it right now. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, they're great. They're great. Would be awesome. I'd be so great if they even went together. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna hang out over here now. <laughs> okay, see now you're being nice. <laughs> I got my bone. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. It had embarrassed me on camera and bite me, but now you're nice. Okay, what else? <laughs> Typical kids. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, guys, that is Seth and Scott. Definitely put in those applications because, like I said, puppies don't last long, especially during the adoption season right now with spring coming up. So <laughs> definitely put in those applications and meet them quickly. All right. You little ones have fun, okay? Bye. <laughs> All right. We're going to jump over to our next presenter, who is Big Boy, a.k.a. Shadow. All right, it's your time to shine. Hey, everybody. Well, this is Big Boy. Um, the, 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 one, the one jumping is Big Boy. I do have my own two other dogs. Big Boy is four months old, about 30 pounds. He is a what? He is a puppy. I mean, he's a typical puppy. He His energy goes from zoomies around the yard 
to he is a big cuddle bug. He loves to just roll up on the couch. He was actually just rolled up on the couch a few minutes ago. We got some treats out just to get him moving around. Um, he is working on his commands. As you can see, he does sit when he knows treats are coming. He's kind of learned from the other dogs. No Deb trying to get him to lay. There you go. So he's he's learning. He's a very smart dog. He's picking up on things. Um, he came up with the name Big Boy, but we kind of nicknamed him Shadow because he does not leave Deb's side. Um, he had a long day at the shop today. He was he was hard at work all day today, supervising, making sure everything was getting done right because we had chemicals put down in the yard today. So we didn't want him around the property um, just because he's a puppy. So, you know, they chew, they look for everything. So we didn't want to take the chances with the chemicals on the property. Um, so he was hard at work all day today. He gets along with our other two dogs. Great. He... He has his playful moments where he'll play with the two pit bulls that we have. We also have two cats roaming around the house, which he's great with. He actually doesn't even bother with them. He kind of just looks over, sniffs them, and walks away. Um, I would think we haven't trained, have had him around any young kids, but I would think he's a good, would be good with kids only because he's a soft player. He's not a very rough player unless he's playing with my two pit bulls. Um, other dogs that he's met, he's kind of just been easy with them. Um, he is a little on the shy side meeting new people, um, especially if you ever do, a, if anybody does do a meet and greet with them, you'll think he's afraid of everything. He does take a little bit to warm up the people. Um, he's met a couple of people that have come in and out of our shop during the day. Um, some people, he won't go anywhere near them at first. Other people, if they hang around for a little bit or if they've been in the shop a couple of times, he's gotten to know them, and he goes right up. Our UPS guy, he goes right up to him, gives him licks and kisses. We actually tried to tell him he needs to adopt them. <laughs> um, he does okay in the crate. We actually, um, in all fairness, we moved the crate into our bedroom. Just to try and get him to sleep completely through the night. A uh, couple of nights in a row, he got up three, four o'clock in the morning because he needed to go to the bathroom, um, and he just decided it was time. He wanted to, he wanted out of his crate, um, so we did move the crate into the bedroom. Now we sleep through the night perfectly fine, and I think that's pretty much it. Uh, he's not a big chewer. We haven't seen him really go after anything in the house. Not that we've really left him unattended for any length of time. Um, Cause again, he's, he's a puppy. So we don't take the chance, um, but I don't see him being much of a chewer. He does have a slight uh, separation anxiety. Um, that's why we kind of call him shadow. If you leave him alone too long, he kind of gets a little anxious and nervous and just figuring out why you left him alone. And that's it. Any questions? I love it. He's just like, I'm going to sit here, and but I'm going to keep checking to make sure my foster mom hasn't moved. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. As you can see, like, I mean, that he, if she moves, he's going with, well, but, well nope. He, he, he's he, sitting he, by he, the tree door because he knows where the treats are. He's watching her, though. He's like, wait, where is she going? Can I yep. see her? Okay, I can still see her. I know where she is. <laughs> yeah, he, he definitely does keep an eye on people. Like, if any one of us leave the room, he's like, where'd you go? Uh, especially when we're not at the house. At the house, it's not as bad. Uh, but, like, when we're at a motorcycle shop during the day, when he comes with us during the day, he doesn't leave Deb's shop uh, side or one of our sides at the bare minimum. Um, but other than that, he, he's learning to come back on command. Um, he listens, he's getting okay with it. Again, he's a puppy, so if something distracts him, that ain't going to work. Um, you can't go outside right now, buddy. We got to take you for a walk because we got chemicals on the lawn. Um, I got to find better chemicals to put on the lawn because it's a pain in the neck. Yeah, they want to go outside and play, but I'm just trying to be safe. They all want a rough house. I know. They want to go out there and wrestle. It's almost nighttime. They're like, let's do it before it gets dark. Yep. 
<laughs> yeah, we'll get him out in a little bit. Everything should be dry and they should be good to go. I love it. He's such a cutie. I love hey, it. He's a good boy. Yes, you are. All right. Well, guys, that is Big Boy, a.k.a. Shadow. He could be your Shadow, uh, most definitely. He's uh, looking for a forever home and wants that person that he can call his own. So definitely scoop him up and give him lots of cuddles. All right. He buddy. loves his cuddles and kisses. Oh, yeah. I saw you last week on the Capitol, but you're a foster mommy. I saw you <laughs> in the camera. <laughs> good, boy. good old time. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is Big Boy, a.k.a. Shadow. We're going to jump to our next presenter now, who is Luna. Give me one second to spotlight Luna. As you can tell, Luna is cat friendly. <laughs> Luna is absolutely cat friendly. Even my shyest cat down here has decided that she deserves some of these treats as well that, that Luna is sharing with the cats. We do recommend with all, um, no, my cats, however, are not very nice about sharing their treats going on me. Uh, we do recommend, of course, that with any animals, you you know make sure that you know how they were gonna respond and feed them separately, etc. But this is Luna. She's about um, 40 some pounds. Is that right? Yeah, about 40 some pounds. Haven't put her on a scale in the last couple of weeks. And three and a half years old. She is very good with cats. And she's an absolute love bug. She just wants her belly rubbed over and over and over again. And if you forget, she'll tap you gently and say, hey, can you pet me, please? Um, this is one of her favorite toys, and she just kind of carries her toys around. She also loves to play tug and loves to ch chase them. Ready? It's the cat. I can't throw it that way. Um, she loves to play tug and chase them and bring them back, but she's kind of working on the on the drop. We haven't figured that out yet. Um, so we're working on learning trade. But she, see, we can trade. Good drop. Uh, so she does know sit uh, and jump and catch. She also knows lie down. Go ahead, go get it. Um, and she's a good, very good, sweet girl. Um, she will fall asleep with a ball in her mouth or with a toy in her mouth. Uh, upside down about half the time. She rides nicely in the car. And when she is accustomed to getting in the car with you, she will hop right in. She doesn't, my uh, my car, which is a little higher, she hops right in. And uh, she rides very nicely. You can see that, I mean, this is this is Luna. She would be perfectly happy to be a couch potato, or, you know, a couch dog right next to you. She'd be happy to be nonstop uh, attention fed. <laughs> And she's a very good girl. She will take some slow introductions with dogs. Uh, she had a little bit of dog trauma. And so any introductions with dogs should be slow. Um, but I think she has, has done nicely with some smaller dogs um, in, the recent, in the last few weeks. And as you see, she does great with the cats. Outdoor cats, I would say she probably, if you have an outdoor cat of your own, she needs to be introduced to them to understand that they're part of the family. Uh, but beyond that, it's good. She's great on walks, good on the leash. Um, well, she's just a good girl, aren't you, Luna? She's an absolute love bug. We just want to play with her and snuggle with her all the time. And she's not high energy. When she plays, she does play hard. Um, but she uh, she stops and settles right down in only a few minutes of play when she plays hard. Hi. I love how she always lays down with the toy in her mouth. It is the funniest thing. I mean, like I've seen it. some dogs do it, but this is a nonstop thing. She takes the toy, she rolls over, and says, "Okay, it's belly rub time, right?" <laughs> Last week she was falling asleep with the toy in her mouth, <laughs> so, mm -hmm. <laughs> and she probably will do it again if I just leave her alone long enough. But she just woke up from a nap, so she might need to play for a little bit beforehand. So there's a question she, in the chat she, about kids. How is she? Oh. Um, you know, I don't really know for sure how she is about kids. She did meet a couple of kids at a one of the events over the last couple of weekends, uh, not this last weekend, but the weekend before. And she was very nice with her. Um, it is a diff different lo location. So I'd certainly want to see her with kids in um, in homes and things like that. She can like you saw how she wanted to jump just a little bit when I had the toy. She will jump. Um, so it is something she would have to, you know, be taught what she is allowed to do and what she is not allowed to do. And the kids would have to be taught how to, how to interact with her. Um, she's, 
She's a sturdy 40 some pounds. And if she did jump up on someone, she could knock you down if she's, if you're small. So it's a, it's definitely a slow introduction kind of thing and learning how to handle it. I don't think she would take food out of a child's hand, but I haven't had the chance to test it. So I don't know. She's she a good go girl. The, when you're giving the cat's treats, she doesn't go after the cat treats, right? No, she does not go after the cat treats. Not at all. And she, I mean, you saw, like she waited until the cat cats, you know, had their treats and like, I can throw the treat to the cat and they will run and she'll leave them entirely alone. And she waits for her own, but she does climb on you and she will, you know, lean against you. Yeah, she's so, giving you hugs. That's what she wants. She just wants the huggies. She is absolutely asking. <laughs> You're a big girl. Yes. Yes. You are. I love it. With the toy at all. <laughs> <laughs> I love you it. it. <laughs> she's oh. a very good girl. She's such a good girl. I Again. Okay. It's um it yeah. her coat is really interesting because like it looks yeah. really dark gray, but then when you look closer, there's a lot of brindle style markings on it. It's a lot of kind of tan and spots inside, and it's just gorgeous. Such you a pretty coat. Certain white angles when she moves, you can see it a little bit. Yep. Yep. Yeah, gotcha. Beauty. And she's got little tiny socks on each of her feet and a nice star on her chest. Yeah, so cute. I love it. Kevin. All right. Well, guys, that is Luna. If you're looking for a snuggly brick house dog, there she is. She just wants to snuggle and be with her people and give hugs and kisses and then lay and down. a little bit of play. And then have a little bit of play <laughs> and then lay back down with her toy and just go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> She's cute. There you go. Back with the toy. <laughs> and love. down she goes. And there she is. All done. <laughs> That's all there is to it. That's Luna. See? Oh, that's it right there. That's all you got to do. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, that is Luna. If you have any questions, throw them in the chat. We've got app team coordinators ready to answer, but definitely put in those applications and go meet her in person. All right. We're going to jump to our... Oh, there was a question about Truffles. So I'm going to throw it back to Truffles really quick before we go to our next presenter. Give me one second. One, Truffles. Hello, Truffles. How are you doing in the car? Uh-oh. There we go. This is Truffles, guys. Not sure if they can unmute because I know they are driving, but there was a question. One of the uh, adopters out there wanted to uh, see Truffles because they missed them on the earlier go. But this is- Hey, the... guys. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, there you go. Okay. There we go. Sorry. I had to teach my daughter how to hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> so Perfect Truffles, answer. as you can see, she loves the car. Um, she will sleep in the car. She will and take any single car ride. She honestly goes everywhere with me at the moment. Um, we just finished at horseback riding where she loves horses. She loves the property. She loves running around. Um, she is great with kids. I don't know if there was like a specific question. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a specific question. I know they just wanted to see Truffles and they just missed the whole introduction about it. But uh just a quick synopsis and then we'll uh, we'll call it there. You got it. So she is a 10 month old Husky mix. Um, she is great with cats, great with dogs, great with any other animal she needs. Um, she is very chill and relaxed as you can see. My other dog that I honestly have is crazy in the car. She will just sleep. Um, she is still learning how to be crate trained. Um, so that's something that we would ask for you guys to work on. Obviously, she is a little nervous when being left alone, but with time, we know that she will become a perfect dog. I mean, she's perfect every other way. She is just absolutely amazing. A big snuggler, a big social butterfly. Um, anything she meets or everyone she meets, she is an absolute sweet, amazing dog. All right, so the one, one question that just came in. So it says, I ride horses too. I wanted to see if she could be a good fit. Thank you very much for showing her again. All right, well, thank you, Allie. Of course. Thank right, you. Well, that is Truffles. So definitely, if you're looking for a, a dog, cat, other animal-friendly dog, Truffles might be it. So definitely uh, put in those apps. All right, good job. Thank you, Truffles. Thank All you. Right. 
We're going to jump over to our next presenter, who is Everett. Give me one second to spotlight Everett. Oh, oh look at this little teeny tiny. <laughs> all right. Yeah. It's all about this one. <laughs> so this is Everett. He is three years old, about seven pounds. Um, he could use uh, gaining some weight a little bit. He's... Um, a little emaciated in terms of he's skinny and you can kind of see his bones, but um, we're working on that. He's doing good. Um, we've only had him since Saturday and um, I'm getting photo bombing. Everybody, everybody wants to get in the picture. Um, he's super, super sweet, a big snuggly dog. Um, and it, although he's tiny, he just loves to snuggle. He loves to be with you. He is low energy. He will get a little bit of a, burst of energy when we go outside he'll run around a little bit um or even come in the house and run around a tiny little bit play with the toy and then it's back in um the dog bed he likes to rest he'll um, watch me while i'm doing something he the other dogs will come running to hear what's going on he'll kind of just lay in his bed and like look around um but sometimes he'll he'll join in too so he's good with other dogs he um, sleeps through the night in his crate. We feed him in his crate because um, otherwise uh, the other dogs will eat his food. And um, he's good with them, though, even though they do try to come over. He doesn't have any guarding that we've seen. Um, he uh, sleeps through the night in his crate. No accidents. He actually likes to sleep in in the mornings. So when I get up, no matter what time I'm getting up, whether it's the weekend or the weekday, um, he's still in bed in his crate and I have to kind of wake him up and say, all right, let's go, let's go outside. Um, so I like that he sleeps in, <laughs> he doesn't wake me up. And um, he he hasn't had, uh, so he is crate trained. He doesn't cry to go um, outside or I mean like to get out. He's in it pretty much for most of the day while I'm at work. And then, you know, he hangs out with us in the evening and um, he's in it at night and he doesn't have a problem, he doesn't cry. Um, he seems to like it and, uh, he doesn't have any separation anxiety. He doesn't, he likes to be with us, but he doesn't seem to mind to, to lay in the dog bed and kind of wait for you to come back into the room. Um, if you run out to go into another room or something, um, if every, if the other dogs go, then they're making a lot of noise and he's like, Oh, it might be something interesting. He may follow as well. Um, but sometimes he doesn't. So it just depends. Um, See, what else can I say about him? He likes the, he uh, fell asleep in the car ride that we took yesterday, both um, to and from, and uh, he had no issues in the car. And um, I don't know, I don't know if there's anything else I'm thinking of. Madison, anything? Oh, he, we're working on sit. Um, I think he has a little bit of a bony butt, so it, um, isn't too much fun to sit on the hardwood floors, but if I give him something like if he sits in his dog bed, he'll sit for a treat. Um, we just were working on that today. So anything I'm missing? No, you nailed it. I love it. He's so cute. <laughs> yeah, he's so just, he, <laughs> yeah, he just really loves to snuggle. So his favorite thing is to either snuggle in your lap or right next to you, um, or even just to curl up in the dog bed. I, He's very low energy in terms of um, needing uh, a lot of assistance. So he is on a regular schedule for potty training. So um, we do have a schedule. So we haven't had any accidents, um, you know, in, in our house in terms of the uh, schedule and everything. So that's really good, too. Um, it's, you know, your basic get up in the morning and before bed and after meals kind of thing. So. But that's pretty much it. Now, is that a dog bed next to your daughter? It is, but it's for it's for a really bigger foster dog that we had last week. <laughs> well, I was going to say, it's a good so, thing Everett's not laying on it because he wouldn't be able to see Yeah, it. he'll get in it, but he, he kind of blends into it. So all three little dogs can be in the same bed at the same time. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I love it. I'm glad your daughter was there to help out so that Everett's not laying in that dog bed so he wouldn't be able to see him. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good job, buddy. Yes, you did such a great job. I'm going to a little bit better. And he has really great um, markings on his feet. I'm trying to like see if I can zoom in a little bit. I'm not the greatest with the camera, but 
He's got the cutest little feet. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Got like little browns and tans there. Yeah. Yeah, it's so nice. You're a very cute dude. Yes, you are. You're handsome. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, if there's any questions, definitely throw it in the chat here for Everett and uh, put in those applications and meet the beautiful guy in person. He's so handsome. Just wants to snuggle up in your lap. And he's so tiny. <laughs> Look at that. <this>. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good job, Everett. You did a good job, buddy. Thanks. All right. We're going to jump to our next presenter, who is Stacy. Bye, Everett. Well, this is Stacy. Whoops. I don't know how I'm going to keep her quiet. In the... She's calmed down. She had her puppy zoomies, which are really important to a good night's sleep. Oh, I was watching her zoom around. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, she's done, her, we're working on crate training and potty training. And, you know, sometimes we're successful and sometimes we have a little oopsies. But, you know, it's to be expected at this young. And it's also training me. Here, let me see if I can get her. Now she's under my feet. She's another one that likes to sleep at your feet. Stacy, come here. Um, She's really sweet. She's... uh. She does great with my dog. I didn't. I chose not to have him present because it's they really love to play, and even though he probably outweighs her by I don't know eight times, <laughs> uh, uh, she uh, loves to play with him and isn't afraid. Um, she just, you know, she loves to cuddle. She's not very cuddly right at this moment because she's still. Get, like I said at the end of her zoomies but she is starting to wear down some um I don't know she's she's been I've only had her since Saturday she's been pretty good she's teething too so you have to redirect her to the chew toys and all that but she's she listens when I say no like if she decides to chew on something inappropriate I just swap it out and tell her no and she's moves on but she's adorable. She has the cutest little white knee socks. And then the back feet just have the, um, the little footies. And then she has the little tip on her curly tail. And uh, just really sweet face. <laughs> Although it's hard to get it in the picture here. She's a little cutie, I have to say. Yeah, she's adorable. Um, I've enjoyed her. <laughs> She's looking for something else to play with now. Look, she's like, ooh. <laughs> she's like, where's my big bro foster brother? She goes up and <laughs> in a um, Look, I haven't had her about cats or kids, but at this young age, they're very uh you can they're very adaptable typically. So Yep. That's true. There you go. There's okay. a good pose. Yeah. And good job, uh, Stacey. You knew what this was. And my dog is calling her and she's calling back. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> they do bark. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking? Are you talking? Yeah, you're so smart. <laughs> he he doesn't understand why he's being uh, held held hostage back in the bedroom either. <laughs> Casey's like, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna find you and help you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, well, guys, that is Stacy. Once again, puppy doesn't last well, long. Yeah. Investigations. And uh, that cute little face definitely got to get that applications in. All right, so that was Stacy. Now we're gonna go to Louie Louie. Where are you, Louie? <laughs> Where are you? Here we go. Hi. So <laughs> this is Louie. He's uh, two years old and maybe forty-three pounds, so he's fully grown. He came. Saturday. So we've had him for about five days. I call him Handsome Louie because every time he sees his reflection, he's got to stop and check himself out. And then, yeah, he's very well behaved. He's crazy trained. He's housebroken. He's a little laid back now because he's been playing with my dog earlier. He's got beautiful, beautiful eyes. Ready? Oh, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you, okay, can you hear me? Yep, you're good. Okay, so um, 
and I don't know how he is with kids. Um, but he's good with people. He's great with other dogs. He's very friendly, very sweet, sleeps all night in the crate. And he's housebroken. I think he's a little rambunctious, so maybe, you know, you know, either have to kind of show smaller kid. I'd worry that he'd maybe knock a smaller kid over. But uh, otherwise, he's a really sweet boy. And so handsome. Yes, you are. You got some cool color in there, buddy. I have to say, like browns and red, reddish tans in there. Yeah. Yeah. And those beautiful amber eyes. Yeah, you look awesome, dude. I can see why you stop and stare at yourself in the mirror. Yeah, he does. He's got to check himself out. <laughs> what mix? Uh, I, yeah, I don't really know. Um, <laughs> I'm never good at this. What mix? <laughs> We we will um, to Esty to answer. She uh she has the uh the pet portal on what they kind of assume might be the breed. We'll let uh, we'll let Esty answer that one. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> uh, he's he's definitely a mix of something handsome, and I don't know exactly the uh, lab or whatever, but uh, he's got some uh, got some cool features. <laughs> yeah, he's not super high energy. He uh, you know like he'll play a little bit because you know he's only two. He's got to play. But then after that, he's happy to kind of just hang out. He's awesome. Okay. Love it. He's such a good boy. Just yeah, he is a good boy. That white stripe on your forehead, too. I love that. Gives you that extra little bit of a je ne sais quoi. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, so he's officially a as a retriever mix. All right, so you're a retriever mix, dude. That's what your your book says. <laughs> That's what your book says. <laughs> you kind of got that retriever tail. I get that. I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is Louie. Definitely put in those applications. Look at this handsome dude. Come on. You'll be walking down the street. People ask you all the time, is that your dog? Can I can I see him? Let me take a picture. So handsome, like a like a supermodel. Let yeah, handsome Louie. <laughs> all right louie you did such a great job buddy yes you did all you had to do is show up see how easy that is <laughs> all right well guys that is louie definitely put in those applications and meet this handsome dude in person can't go wrong with him look at that so cute all right well, we're going to jump over to our next potential louie we're going to go see Bo. all right so we'll see you later have a good rest of the night man all right, let's switch over to Bo. All right, Bo, you're up. Okay, so this is Bo, and Bo was just uh, chewing on his bone and giving us a great presentation, and now he's off and running. Come here, Bo. Come here. Come here. So Bo is probably one of the best puppies I've had. He is amazing. He's a lot of fun. Um, he's four months old about four months old. He's about 20 pounds. Come here. Um, okay, I'll go in the kitchen with you. All right, here we go. We're going in the kitchen. So uh, he's about 20 pounds. He's absolutely adorable. He gets along with all the dogs in the house. Um, he's a great mix of energy. Um, he can be high energy, and then he can just chill out and curl up into your arms and it's absolutely delightful. Um, he is just a doll. Um, he actually fell asleep in my arms while I was clipping his nails. I think he's looking for extra food hanging around. Um, he is crate trained. We're working on house training. He's a baby. So we're working on that. Come here, my love. Come here. Come on in here. We're going to chew a bone. And uh, so we're working on the house training because, you know, he's a baby. Um, and, uh, you know, he's teething, but he only teases and he only chews on his bones. So, you know, a question of would he be good with kids? He's not mouthy on my hands. He's not mouthy on anything but really his bones. He's really just uh, a fun loving, great puppy who would need typical puppy training. Um, he's, uh, he's silly, he's goofy, and, um, 
He's siblings with uh, Big Boy, and I believe they have a lot in common as far as just being fun-loving gray pups. Um, his uh, personality is beautiful. He knows uh, when it's time to eat, he runs to his crate and gets very excited over it. Um, so he's very food motivated, treat motivated. Um, right now he's looking for another drink. And uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's him. He's absolutely adorable. Um, I've heard that he's a beagle husky mix. I don't quite know. He, you know, he looks uh, poundy. And um, he's absolutely just sweet. Oh, look. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Yeah. So uh, that's Bo. He's absolutely delightful. Uh, he's a pleasure to have. And, um, yeah, I can't get him to look at the camera right now, but. Just he's having a adorable. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Bo knows. He knows when to look. He knows when. <laughs> there you go, big guy. <laughs> Such a handsome man. I love it. Oh, well, look here. Oh, look. Look up, buddy. Look up, handsome. Oh, oh there you this. go. And he is very cuddly. You can hold him and cradle him like a baby in a, a little, you know, a little cradle upside down, and he just cuddles into your arms. He's just a very special little guy. Hey, Gail, how do you think Bo would be with cats? I don't think there'll be any problem with cats whatsoever. I wouldn't think so either. He seems to be okay with Bo. More than size of a cat. <laughs> yeah, always very cat like. Yes, he is. <laughs> he also has the personality of a cat. Mo is very. <laughs> yes, Mo does. But Mo is awesome. I love that little guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, Bo and uh, Big Boy are siblings. They're both uh, awesome dogs. They uh, they both have you know just this wonderful disposition. Um, when they met up with each other, they, they just, you know, they play, um, he can play rough with the big dogs and he calms right down. Um, I can split them up and he will just cuddle right up with me. Come here. We're not going to eat that. Let's okay. have a bone instead. Let's have a bone instead. So, yeah. All right. Well, guys, that is Bo. Definitely put in his application to this handsome man. He's so cute. Looking for that forever home. He's uh, definitely got more uh, more beagle in him than uh, that husky, just from his looks and the way he acts. But uh, definitely gonna get a little bit bigger, but uh, not too bad. He's only how much did he weigh out, Gail? About what thirty? About pounds? twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. Yep. There we go. So not too bad, right? Still a little man. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That was a good shot of the camera. Yeah. Yeah, he is just such a great puppy. He really is. He's a great little guy. Yes, you are. You're a handsome man. Don't eat the camera, though. <laughs> <laughs> Next phone. Right. Guys, that is Bo. Definitely put on his applications and meet Bo in person. He is adorable and ready to find that home. So definitely put in those apps and meet Bo. Good job, buddy. All right, let's see if our next presenter is ready. So now we're going to be going over to Sam and Sadie. Give me one second to switch the spotlight. One second. Okay. All right, little Papa Roos, you're up. Hi. <laughs> All right. Well, I feel like it just I should just say copy paste to all the other puppies that we uh we talked about. These are two more of them. Um, this bigger one is Sam. He is about 10 pounds, I would say. Um, typical puppy, loves playing, loves eating, loves um, ev everything, kids, other dogs. And this little teeny one, I think she was the smallest possibly, is Sadie. Say hi, little Sadie. Um, she is super sweet, a uh, little bit more submissive than Sam, a little bit calmer too. 
So that's Sadie. Uh, we'll put them down and see if we can give you a little more uh, of their playtime here. Say hi, guys. Want to say hi? Oh, you just want to say hello to the camera? <laughs> that's Sadie. She, and this, is, this one is Sam. Come here. I love the little screwy tails we got going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. They're super happy. They love being outside. They, um, we had off today, so they were thrilled running around the yard. And uh, typical puppies definitely need potty training skills, but um, we're working on it. And uh, yeah, teething and all that too, of course, but very, very happy and loving. They're so cute. I love it. Little paw going there. <laughs> God bless you. Someone, someone made a comment earlier about the puppies, how they're slowing down. It's getting night, night time coming up soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. They do pass out and, and chill when, when we put them in their crate. Um, they cuddle up together, but for now, it's it's still playtime. <laughs> yep. <laughs> playtime until you crash. And then you got to repeat that all day tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, They're so cute. Typical puppies, guys. If you're looking yeah. for puppies, this is it. We got tons of puppies on tonight. So definitely just go on the website, figure out which ones fit your needs and your family, put in those applications and meet them quickly because yeah. puppies go bye-bye very fast because they're just so adorable, so cute. Yeah, hi. Yeah, hi, Steve. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> so happy. Oh, it's just the wagon. I love it. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. that's that? so I scared him. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready for that. <laughs> well, what do you think, Katie? She's teeny yeah. tiny, much smaller than him, and very, very, very sweet, much calmer, too. <laughs> I love it. All right, well, if there's any questions, definitely throw them in the chat for Sam and Sadie. These two little cuties looking for their forever home. All right, we're going to jump to our last presenter of the night, who is Blue. Give me one second to spotlight Blue and just say goodbye to these pupperoos. Let's see. Blue, where are you? Wait, I can't. There we go. Found it. All right, Blue, you're up. Little one. Look at this you. is Blue. Oh. He's oh, also, he's, can you hear me? Yep, you're good to go. Okay. He's, uh, he's also a sibling to a uh, big boy and Bo. Um, very similar personality, super friendly, wants to be wherever you are. Um, he's, I think he's, he's doing great with his housebreaking. He goes to the door now, actually. He likes going in and out of the house a lot. So um, he's been great this whole week. Um, my husband's working on something. He's very curious. He also walks excellent on a leash. If you're a walker, he'll, he, I think I take about a three mile walk. He, he makes it the whole way with me really well. Blue. Come here, buddy. Blue, blue. Boy, sorry, he's very curious. Um, very gentle. He's, he's like, oh, here, I'll get you a screwdriver. What do you mean? Come yeah, he's, <laughs> he's with him all day long. So, yeah, he's his little shadow. Um, Mike, could you just stop what you're doing? <laughs> yes. I'm going to help you. Buddy. <laughs> this is yeah, this is way more fun, I guess, than being on camera. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> um, what else can I say about him? Um he knows sit, he knows down. Uh well down with food, right, buddy? He uh again, I don't have little kids or anything, but I can't imagine, you know, I think he would be good with with anybody, any other animals. I don't have cats. He doesn't bother the squirrels in the yard. He just could be like three feet from them and he just looks at them. Um, yeah. Uh, he, he, he's just very, he's just very lovable. He wants to be with you all the time, as you can say. He's very happy. He's not very loud, but he's a hound. If you howl, that's like a cute little trick he does. He'll talk back to you. He'll, he'll howl back. Um, yeah, as you can see, lots of kisses. Um, I, I mean, he's just great. He really is a lot of fun to have. Um, he's good with my dog. She's older. She doesn't want to be bothered. And he leaves her alone. He's not scritchy with her. I think he would be more of a submissive dog if he was in a house with other dogs. Um, yeah, I mean, 
He's just, I don't know what can I say. He's very, <laughs> he doesn't like this bandana. Come here, buddy. Hello. Come here, boy. Come here. See you. See you. Um, I don't know any other. I said he's very similar to his two brothers, it sounds like. And and I, I he met his one of his sisters, same thing. The whole letter seems very, same temperament. Very sweet, gentle, easygoing. Learns quickly. So you're super smart. That's what you're saying. You're yeah, smart. I think yeah. They're all smart, <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> hey, look at that! You let it roll over already. See? Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, when ain't gonna play? And he and, and his temperament, same thing. He's uh, if you wanna, if you if you wanna run and play, yeah, he's not he's not super playful, but he like I said, he'll go on long walks. You wanna be a couch potato? He'll. He's more than happy to just chill out and and lay with you. He loves that. So you're all um, really adaptable, huh? Yeah, you can feel yeah. like yeah. whatever. Yeah, and, and, I mean, the only downside he has a little separation anxiety too. During the day, he's fine in his crate. At night, he kind of he's got to be in our room. He, uh, you know, it's a it's a it's slow going with that at night. But he will sleep through the night if he knows you're there. No accidents. Right, pal? I think he's had enough of his bandana. <laughs> he's trying. Whatever he can do, he yeah. does <laughs> Yeah, come here. Get this come here. Let me help you out, buddy. Now it's a game. <laughs> now it's a game. Okay, who gets it all first? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if there's any other questions for yeah, him. Any other questions? Definitely throw them in the chat for this cute little guy. Yeah. And if not, we're going to go. Good yeah. job, Lou. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> and he's, I guess he's teething too, but he's not really a chewer either. I have a bully stick. It's lasting him the entire week. We give it to him whenever he's in the crate and he, you know, he's not a huge chewer. Thank God. <laughs> Look at that little ear. <laughs> Such a cute man. All right. Well, guys, that is Blue. Definitely put on his application and meet this handsome dude in person. He's looking for that forever home. He's got that playful itch right now. going to roll around <laughs> a little bit, play with himself. <laughs> <laughs> just having fun. <laughs> Good job, Blue. All right, give me one second to switch the spotlight. All right, that was our virtual event for tonight. Hopefully, everybody had a great time. I know I did watching all those puppies out there and all the other dogs as they had their great uh, burst of energies. Now I'm looking at the screen. Everybody's sleeping pretty much. <laughs> So they played themselves out tonight for everybody. So the show was good. So definitely put in those applications. Meet everybody in person. Check out the website. See where we're going to be live this weekend and which dogs are going to be there. And come on out and say hi. With that, we will call it a night and have a great rest of the evening, guys. And we'll see you back on the next virtual event. Have a good one and stay safe.